Alright, so, let's see, who are we going to move next? Um, so, uh, let's see, I mean, Fred Dick right here, he does not need any experience at all. But I really want, okay, so Chrome's probably going to level up anyway from this guy, so, um, I guess we might as well just finish this guy off. We're going to go ahead and kill him right now. Let's go. What's Gucci? Alright. Ooh, kill him. Kill that bitch. Alright. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, dang. Nice. Already level three. So, let's see. How many stats just increased? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three. Okay, so five stats increased. Nice. That's what I call... Okay, he already said that before. But there we go. Nice and awesome right there. Um... But we'll have Fred Dick over here as a protection unit. Just so that way, uh, Lissa is safe over here. I don't think there's anyone who could really, like, come over here right now. Let's end the phase. Okay, this, this dude's obviously not gonna do any damage, because, you know, Fred Dick is the broken one. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. I forgot all about that. So yes, guys, you have to make sure that you plan strategies and shit for, like, for, you know, preparing for this stuff. Oh, also, another good thing about these forts here, um, each turn, you know, like, after you get back to your turn, after the enemy attacks, um, if you're still in a fort, if you lost any HP, um, you can pretty much get healed from it. But still, um, uh, we're gonna have to put Virion in a fort. Shit, um. Okay, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and attack this dude right now. With Virion. That's what you get for fucking, like, slashing my ass over there. And, um, wow, okay, so, you know what? We're gonna switch things up. We're actually gonna have Sully finish this guy off. Alright, we still have a 91% chance of hitting this dude, because we, we have the disadvantage over here. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. There you go. Dude, I like Sully. She's freaking that attitude, though. I love it. It's awesome. Um, so, um, yeah, we're gonna have, okay, so let's, let's kill this dude, whoever this is. Um, Lissa, you can go ahead and start coming over here, um, cause Lissa needs some experience too, I just realized, um, how much range do these guys have? So, this guy, okay, no one can touch Lissa really, so, hmm. Alright, so I'm still trying to debate if I should have Krom get this guy now. But I want Lissa to gain some experience, so I kind of want to end the turn at the same time. I do not know what to do right now. I mean, there's no way anyone can get killed now. That's that's for sure. I mean, we're, we're nowhere near in danger right now, but still. <sighs> what to do? Fuck. <laughs> I, I really do not know what to do right now kind of stupid um all right i mean we'll have we'll have robin not robin freaking am 702 we'll kill this guy now yeah i guess that's a good idea because there's really no one else who can actually get to this dude all right so and then i guess all right frederick you can go and do your job there's really no way to avoid you right now because the reason why I'm avoiding Frederick so much, guys, is because he's just... Look at that, 26 damage? This guy is so overpowered from the start of the game, and I want other units on my team to get some more experience. So that's the reason why, you know, I don't really want to use him as much in the beginning. And once I actually get everyone to his level, then I'll start to use him. Um, and the other reason why I don't like using him is because he's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> no, I mean, well, kind of. Like, in the beginning of the game, he's kind of a douchebag, but... All right. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting he has a hand axe. Rawr, rawr. Yo, it's time. Okay, that's that's no good. Oh shit. Alright, we got two units to heal right now. Alrighty. So we're gonna go ahead and heal Virion. Let's do your job. Alright, there we go. So yes, yeah, so let's let's start getting some experience from Lissa. Because she really needs it right now. Alright, so if we approach this guy now... 
we'll have the advantage. We'll lower his HP down to 16, but that's still not enough. Hmm. I'm trying to think right now. Alright, Sully, you should definitely stay in this fort, since that, you know, you lost some HP. Um, okay. Alright, now we've actually got something going here. So now Virion can do the same damage that Chrome would do. So let's just lower that. Oh god, I forgot. He still had the throwing axe. But now, we should be able to finish this guy off now. Oh, actually, damn it. Fuck nuggets. Uh. Because now, this guy has full range to get to Lissa. And Lissa has like. Maybe about... Hold on, let me get this shit out of here. She only has 17 HP. And this guy could do some damage right now, so... God damn it. Um... And we... And AM702 can't reach him. Alright, well... Oh my god. Seriously, look at this shit. <laughs> if Frederick was about to attack, he would, he would fucking kill him. Um... Shit. Alright, fuck it. We're gonna go attack with Krom first. Lower that HP just by a little bit more. Alright. Please level up. Okay, good. I was scared he wouldn't level up. Alright, but there we go. We finally got Krom to level 2. And, oh my god, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 stats increased. So, wow. So, Krom got a lot of good, um, a lot of good benefits for this level up. So, uh, AM702 is pretty much the highest level so far, but it's good that Krom got a level up. But, here we go. We're about to finish the job with Fred Dick. Oh, kill him. There we go. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. Oh, oh. All right, there we go. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, so now the heroes for this battle are Krom and Sully. Not bad. Yeah, I, AM702 kind of stuck back. Stood back. It seems all the creatures are vanquished. This young man took care of the others. Oh, we got the silent type. Um, I never got to thank you for before. So, thank you. You were very brave. You saved my sister's life. My name is Krom. Might I ask yours? You may call me Marth. Alright. Hello, Marth. Marth, after the heroic king of, our, uh, of old? So yes, um, this character here, Marth, uh, you know, what he's so-called, um, takes after the hero king, uh, Marth, from the actual Fire Emblem series, which is cool. Um, also appeared in Smash, which is cool as well. Um... You were certainly fighting like a hero. Where did you learn your way with a sword? No. I'm not here to talk about me. This whole t uh, t this world teeters at the brink of a horrible calamity. What you saw tonight was a prelude. You have been warned. Damn. Huh? What's teetering where now? Hey, wait! Not much for conversation, is he? It appears his skills lies elsewhere. He, uh, I wager we'll hear his name again. But for now, I'm more concerned about his, the capital. Eh, uh, the capital. We should make haste. Indeed we should. And there we go. This, this is nice. Let's go ahead and save our progress, just because. Alrighty. So this is Yelisitol, capital of Yelis. i never seen so many people. It appears the capital was spared uh, the chaos we encountered. Thank the gods. I see no evidence to the, of the Great Quake. It must have been limited to the forest. Well, that's a relief. Look, the Exalt has come to see us. That's old motherfucker. The Exalt is your ruler, yes? Yes. Her name is Lady Emerin. It is, is it safe for her to walk among commoners like this? The Exalt is a symbol of peace, Ulysses' most prized quality. Long ago, at the dawn of our age, the fell dragon tried to destroy the world. 
Well, at the first exalt, joined forces with the divine dragon and laid the best the beast low. Exalt Emerin uh, uh, reminds us of all the peace we fought for then. With Plagia uh, poking at our bo uh, borders, the people need her. She's a calming presence with some might uh, otherwise call for war. And then the uh, Ulyssian people are indeed lucky to have her. She's also the best big sister anyone could ask for. Yes, I imagine she... Wait, what? She's here. Wait, but wouldn't that make you and Krom... The prince and princesses of the realm, yes. You remember Krom's name, and not this? You said you were shepherds. And so we are, in a manner of speaking. We just have a lot of sheep. Krom, I mean, I mean, Prince Krom, oh Jesus Christ, sire, forgive me my dreadful, uh, dreadful manners. Just Krom is fine. I've never been much for formali formalities. The prince and princess. That explains why Frederick tolerates all the te teasing, huh? Fred Dick, sorry. Indeed. Oh, the sacrifices I make for the good of the realm. It looks like M is returning to the palace. Would you like to meet her? Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, meeting her. <laughs> Heal. I'm sure damn slow, that's for sure. Crom, Lissa, welcome home. Oh, and good day, Frederick. How fared you all? Well, we shouldn't uh, have any abandoned problems for a while. Wonderful, and our people? Right. Safe as they can be, Em. But we still need to watch for the uh, borders. The brigands crossed over from Plagia. Forgive me. Forgive me, my lord. My Pegasus knights should have intercepted them. No, no Fila. Your duty was here. With the exalt. <laughs> duty. And besides, we have plenty of help. What? Ah, so you speak of a new companion here. This is AM702. A very popular YouTube... <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm nowhere near popular. Alright, um... He fought bravely with us against the brigands. I've decided to make him a shepherd. It sounds as though Elise owns you uh, a debt of gratitude, AM702. Not at all, milady. I'm just a 14-year-old gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, your grace, but I must speak. AM702 claims to have lost his memory, but it is only that a claim. God damn it, Fred Dick. He, dude, this dude is literally like throwing me under the bus. Like, you guys can tell that Fred Frederick is a huge douchebag. We cannot rule the, out the possibility that he's a brigand himself or even a Plagian spy. God damn. Frederick! Yet you allowed him into the castle, Crom. Does this man have your trust? Yes. Yes, he risked his, uh, his life for our people. That's good enough for me. Well then, AM702. It seems you've earned Crom's faith, and as such you have mine as well. Oh. Milady. Thank you. But thank you, Frederick, for your pr um, pr prudence? I do not even know. As always, Crom and Lissa are blessed to have so many... Uh, have a... Bleh, have so a tireless guardian. I do hope they remember to mention that from time to time. Indeed. They occasionally express some um, akin to gratitude, your grace. Fila, I assume that you've heard about the deathly creatures we encountered, yes? Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. They've been sighted across all of Yelise. Yes. Krom, we're about to hold a council. Uh, council. I was hoping you could join us. Good. Of course. I think that's our cue, AM702. Come on, there's a place I want to show you. Alright, and from there, we have unlocked the next um, stage, or part of the game. And now we've unlocked support conversations. Basically, um, more dialogue throughout the characters, you know, developing their own personal relationships. But we'll get into that in another episode. But, um, that pretty much does it here, guys. Um, it was a pretty long episode. I mean, I ha I'm probably gonna have to split it up into two parts, but we got a pretty good episode in, if I do say so myself. Next time, we're gonna be going to the North Road in Chapter 2, so that should be really cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this episode and would like to see more uh, consistently, make sure you go smash that like button for me, because it always helps. 
And uh, make sure to subscribe for more as well. And become a Marquezzi. Because uh, it always helps us, um, like I just said. And uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be really cool from here on out. We're going to be meeting some more comrades as we go through this playthrough. But um, yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you all next time.